In this example, we will be evaluating the square root of 93 by looking for the tenths place decimal approximation. To do this, we'll look at perfect squares nearby to 93. Examples of this are 9 squared, which is 81, and 10 squared, which is 100. 93 falls between 81 and 100, so we can write the following inequality. 81 is less than 93, which is less than 100. Now we can take the square root of all of these values in the inequality. The square root of 81 turns into 9, because 9 squared is 81. The square root of 100 turns into 10, because 10 squared is 100. Now we can see that the square root of 93 is between 9 and 10. So now we want to pick a tenths place decimal between 9 and 10 that we can square to see how close we can get to 93. Let's try out 9.6 squared which is 9.6 times 9.6. 6 times 6 is 36, carry the 3. 9 times 6 is 54, plus 3 is 57. Add our 0. 9 times 6 is 54, carry the 5. And then 9 times 9 is 81, plus 5 is 86. When we add these values together, we end up getting 92.16, which is very close to 93. We can approximate it. 93 then, and say that 9.6 squared is approximately 93. Well, you could have tried 9.7 squared and see how close you get to 93. 9.6 squared is actually the closest you can get, so that's why we're approximating it to 93 here. Now that we know this, we can take the square root of both sides, and in this case, the square root and the squared for the 9.6 cancel, and we get 9.6 is approximately the square root of 93, and this will be our estimation.